Welcome to the Simply Smart Business Show with me, Gemma Went. Welcome, 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 my friends. So today I want to talk about business values and how they actually show up in your business. And the reason I want to talk about this is I'm currently running my mastermind. And at the start of my mastermind, I take uh, my members through my business strategy workbook. Now, this is something that I um, developed last year and used in my last mastermind and I use on my own business. And it's a real deep dive into their business strategy. It really, really makes them look inwards um, and look at actually what they're doing and what they mean. And the kind of things that it covers are, we look at them, your purpose, uh, the people that you um, want to work with, your USP and how you actually identify that because most people struggle with that. We look at value proposition and how you get that across to your people. We look at values, personal vision and business goals because the two are so closely tied together for me. And we look at sort of five year business goals and one year and then we break that down into 90 day goals that will help you achieve those one and five year. Uh, then we look at the marketing that you need to do to achieve those things. Um, I look at content pillars, uh, something that that is really important to me and, and really helps with your communication plan. And then finally look at income streams. So what are the income streams that you need to focus on to bring in your, your income target? So it's quite a deep dive into your, your business strategy. And it's something that I think is imperative. Um, and 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 it was it was hard work for my masterminders to go through it, but now they're out the other side. Um, they're really pleased, and they they got an awful lot of clarity, much more aligned to what they're doing. Um, and now we're working through the implementation of that, um, which for me is the the really fun bit. It's where you get to be really creative and take action. Um, but the reason I wanted to talk about this, and there's something that came up in conversation about this, is. It's very easy to create these strategies and you can sit down and you can spend sort of a week or so or two sort of developing your business plan or your business strategy. Um, But then it's all too easy to put it in a drawer and put it away and then get on with the day job and forget all about it and forget what you all the good work that you put in and what you really wanted to get out of it. Um, And I've actually simplified that by creating a, a one page overview of this strategy which you can put on your wall I actually have it on my desktop which is fantastic it reminds me every day however what we also spoke about was how those things actually show up in your business like every single day like how can you make sure that you're always talking about that USP or you're always including that value proposition in everything that that you're doing or writing or when you're when you're selling to people um, and how do things like values show up in your business it's all well and good saying you have a value but unless someone can actually see it and feel it and connect with it then it kind of means nothing right we can say we've got all the values in the world but in, unless we're actually showing those um, in everything that we're doing in our business, then there's no point in having them. So I wanted to use that as um, as a topic for this show and actually give you an example of how my values show up in my business, to use me as an example, because I think this is really important and it's so easy to lose sight of this stuff. Um, so the, the three kind of main values I have, I don't like to have too many. I think you can get overcomplicated with too many values. Um, are the three main values that, that are absolutely dear to me is that I will act with integrity in all that I do. And that's my personal life and my professional life. I will give value in all that I deliver and I will delight my clients and my prospects. So I wanted to take you through those and just kind of show you how those show up in my business for me. And and hopefully hopefully people that know me will recognize those values in me and in my business because I try 
to um, show up with them every single day. So the first one, integrity, which I think is a common one for values, and it's a very, very important one. But integrity is really important to me. Um, And, you know, integrity isn't, isn't a flag that you should be waving around and saying, oh, I do everything with integrity. It's actually how you show up with integrity. You know, integrity for me is is something you do when no one's watching and you get nothing from it, but you're acting with integrity. So for me, the way that shows up in my business is being absolutely true to what I'm offering. So when I'm writing a sales page or way before that, if I'm designing Um, a package or a service or a product, being absolutely honest um, and authentic in what that is and what I can genuinely deliver with that. Um, And all of the writing that I do, acting with integrity um, uh, with that, not overclaiming stuff, not lying about stuff. Um, Even when, you know, you're in a pitch phase and you're pitching to clients and you're desperate to work with someone, like really want to work with someone as your ideal client, acting with integrity there um, and being completely honest about whether they're the right fit for you and whether you're the right fit for them and how you work with them, what results they can expect to get. You know, I I won't give inflated results. Um, I will tell honestly what I think I can give uh, and what I think I can deliver for people. So it's, it's, and it's also for me, it's not just the way that I act, which is very important. It's also the way my team acts, the way my team treat clients, um, and the way that they show up in this world, but also the people that I work with. So, you know, there are people that I will work or associate with that if I don't feel that they match my level of integrity, then I can't work with them. And I really struggle with that. And I've, I've come across that a few times and it's something that I struggle with. And if, if they don't kind of meet that level, then it, I, feel, I feel out of alignment and I feel that that isn't right for me. Uh, and it's also, you know, having integrity when you mess up. Like we all make mistakes. Um, and it's about how you deal with making those mis- mistakes and how you make them right that I think shows the the true nature of who you actually are. So, you know, I've messed up plenty of times, right? We've all messed up. It's the, it's the ability to, to act with integrity with that and put your hand up and go, I am sorry, I messed up. This is what I'm going to do to make that better. And it's about making it better rather than hiding and um, not dealing with it. That's acting with integrity. It's how you deal with people that complain to you. And, you know, people complain and that can be tough. And it feels like a personal attack a lot of the time. And all of your emotions are screaming out. and, and, And it's tough in those times to act with integrity. But it means acting with integrity and and dealing well with that situation. And, you know, and that's about being true to yourself as well for me. It's about it, authenticity is very sort of closely linked with integrity for me. It's acting with authenticity and being true to myself um, and acting with integrity for, for me and my values as well as um as well as the people that I'm I'm dealing with. So that's something that's really important to me and 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 hopefully people can see that in the way that I conduct myself and I conduct my my business. The next one that I have is around value. So I will give value in all that I deliver. So I'm I'm a real stickler for this. Um, Unfortunately, in the online marketing world, there there have been some uh, coaches and consultants that that don't give a great deal of value, but ask for a lot of money. Um, And that really rubs me up the wrong way. On the other side of that coin, there are some amazing, 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 amazing online marketing people that give heaps of value who I admire hugely and whose podcasts I listen to. But um, my thing there is making sure that I give value in everything that I deliver, whatever that is, whether it's this podcast and this show, whether it's the opt-ins that I put out there and all the freebies that I put out there, whatever content I put out there, it's giving the value in my Facebook group, for example, which I absolutely love. If you're not a member, please go there. It's the Simply Smart Business group. Um, It's giving value in all of those things, as well as giving value 
um, in my my paid work. So if I'm working one to one with a client, it's always giving value to them. And sometimes, you know, I, I I go over and above and I give more, which actually links nicely into my next um, my next uh, core value. Uh, but yeah, giving value is really important to me. I want people to walk away and be thrilled with what they received and be excited about their future. I mean, my one, one of my um, core value propositions is to bring people's dreams to life online and that's what what I want to do with the value that I give to people so I'm always really aware of giving high value um, and giving quality work and people being really happy with that because that that means an awful lot to me and again if I don't do that I feel out of alignment with my own integrity so that you know they kind of fit together really really well and then my third one I wanted to give you as an example is I will delight my clients and prospects so for me this kind of links in with what I already said sometimes I will over deliver um now this isn't something that I always do and and I guess that's in the word delight right I want to surprise people so quite often I will write a proposal for a new client Um, but I won't put everything in there that I'm going to deliver. So I've met their brief and I, they're very happy with that, but I will always have something in my back pocket that I think I can add in later on that will delight them. When I, um, when I have my masterminds, there are two specific things I do in my masterminds that I surprise them with that they they are not expecting at all because I love that. I love to go uh, over and beyond and give something a little bit extra. Um, and I like to delight people. It doesn't even have to be a big thing, you know, it doesn't have to be an expensive thing. Um, but it's just something that I like to do. I like to surprise people. I mean, come on, we all like surprises and we all like to be delighted and we all want to feel that we've got value and so on. So that's a core core value for me uh, in is delighting my clients and delighting my prospects. So can you see how those, um, those core values play out in my business? Um, and, and it's something that we all really need to think about, um, when we're doing that. And, and actually other ways that that they play out in my business is through the content pillars that I mentioned earlier. So I have, I run a 90 day content planner, which plans out that I have run a 90 day planner. So my, my business runs on 90 days. So I have a 90 day business planner, and then I have a 90 day content planner that aligns with that. And, um, in my content planner, I have content pillars that I want to run through every single piece of content that I'm writing. So in that I include things that are really important to me. So things like my values. So I will, you know, if you've read anything about, uh, from me, um, you have probably heard me talking about integrity because I bang on about it all the time, but that's one of the things that are in my, um, my content pillar. I talk about value and I talk about, my anger of people getting ripped off and it's important for, for coaches and consultants and mentors like me to, to be responsible for that and, and make sure that we, um, deliver value all the time. And I, so I talk about all of these things all the time. Other content pillars I talk about is something that I might be sort of focusing on, um, over that period. So, um, I'm, I'm, a big topic for me right now is talking about visibility. And the reason I'm doing that is because I had a really quite strong visibility fear um, uh, this time last year. I would never have done a podcast. I would never have launched a podcast. I was terrified of live streaming um, and all of those kind of things that that you have to do to put yourself out there when you really want to grow your business. And I made a promise to myself last year that um, I was going to fight that fear of visibility and be seen. So I spoke at two events, which was terrifying, I'll be honest. And I did lots of live streaming and videos. And now I've launched a a podcast. So visibility is a big one for me right now. And I have that running through my content pillars. So that's something that I talk about. And I mention all the time, even if the topic that I'm talking about isn't particularly about visibility, I will bring that into the story. Um, I talk about strategy all the time because I'm kind of a strategy queen. I think strategy is really important to us as business owners. So I try and drop that into whatever I'm talking about. And I also talk a lot at the moment, and this is a new content pillar for me, uh, about transformation. So um, I came to the realization last year with my coaching clients and certainly my mastermind, 
um, in that as well as being a, a business coach um, and supporting people move forward with their business, I was actually helping them to transform because more often than not, the reason they come to me is they have some kind of block around the business. Um, and it could be around things like fear, fear of visibility. It could be any other fears and blocks. Um, and I help them overcome those. So it's something that I'm really interested in. It really piqued my interest last year when I saw those results and realized what that means to people. Um, so transformation is a really big one and it's a big topic for me um, this year, I think. So I have that as a content pillar because that means a lot to me. So that runs through everything that I'm writing. Uh, so yeah, so content pillars really kind of help with um, uh, communica- communicating your your um, individual um, facets of your your strategy, so your values and the things that you hold dear, and obviously your USP and, and so on and so forth. But the key, the key, my point here is um, is the importance of doing that, of like understanding your strategy and understanding those different elements and then making sure that you are showing up with those things in your business every day because then it becomes automatic and second nature and then the people that you want to connect with can really connect with those things um, and and they understand those things and and it will help them to to get to know you and to trust you and to want to decide whether they want to work with you or not so I think that's a a really really important thing and if if you're interested in in looking any further into that my um, business strategy workbook uh, is something that's for sale so I will put a link in um, and you can go and have a look at that um, if you don't already have that set up in your your business but if you do if you have a business plan or if you have a business strategy pull it out, do a little bit of a review with it, um, see if it's still fitting with where you are, and then think about what I've said. Think about how those things show up in your business and try to make more of a conscious decision about how those things show up because I think it it really solidifies who we are and where we're going and what we're doing in our business and can only help you to push forward. Thank you for listening. <laughs>